Hello and welcome to Home Design. My name is Maria and today we're going to talk about masks. On my last video about the accessory trends, winter, fall, 2020, there was so many comments regarding where are the all the masks because, well, duh, we need the masks. I don't think all the designers when they were creating all of their masterpieces were thinking, oh, there's probably going to be a virus outbreak that we should create some masks for them. That's why there weren't any. Let's just pause this video to say that this video is meant to be a fun-filled something that might brighten you up your day. So please don't be hating on me. All right, thank you. <laughs> I'm in no way a medical professional or anything. All of the articles I read are linked in the description box below. But let's talk about them in general. Some masks from like the past, from a few years back. There were some on the runway, so we're just gonna look at all of those now. Let's take a look at some of the medical industry standards, what the fashion tells us to do, and what we can actually do ourselves. The surgical mask. If you ever been to a dentist, you know how it looks like. It's just a kind of a bluish thing with little rubber bands around the ears. The next one is the N95, which gets its name from having 95% filtration of all the particles. The face covering or, yeah, just the face covering. These, these are kind of more of homemade thing, a fashion mask of some sort. Now let's take a look at some of the runways where they did have the masks. They were a few years old, they're like from 2015, 2014, nothing super fresh, but here we go. Marine Serene had so many, so many different masks. They're more for pollution and etc. Uh, but uh, there is some variety in there. Gareth Poos, uh, Paws Poos, uh, I'm sorry, He's totally butchering everybody's names today. He had um, kind of a, almost a thong situation where it's like a mesh. Let's face it, there's no barrier there. So if you want to make that work, maybe insert filter of some sort in there. Katie May. Those masks are so beautiful. The lace one, so they have a nude mask underneath and having a lace, oh my gosh, gorgeous. Alexander Wang had kind of a similar idea, but with uh, safety pins in them just to make them a little bit more edgy. Louis Vuitton and Gucci had kind of a mesh situation like that, of course. It's not gonna help, but it's an interesting way of maybe covering it, bringing your own kind of Finaz on it and also Masha Ma they had really delicate kind of a mesh flowers on the mouth area where you can also layer them right on an actual mask if you're stuck at home and you would like to make one for yourself here are some interesting ideas of how you can achieve that. You can see a bra being used as a a pair of underwear also, but there are some useful ways of doing it and I left a link in the description below of some of the uh, cutouts, how you can do it yourself, sew it or maybe like hand sew it, stitch it, I don't know, fabric glue. So we have a few different choices, organic, inorganic and social distancing. Uh, so some people actually wear a kind of a sneeze shield uh, so the particles won't get into your eyes. Face shield, right? Sneeze shield. Oh my gosh. The only thing, there's so many details to like sanitize after, but looks cool. I've actually had a nightmare like this where I wanted to have a photo shoot in fish tank and I had my head stuck in it and now that I think about it, it was not a dream, it was actual thing but it wasn't bad, it was pretty bad. These all look pretty and nice but let's face the reality, they're going to get really moisty and sticky and sweaty so you're not gonna look pretty at all unless it's just a kind of mask and then there's lots of airflow through it. 
and the DIY version. Social distancing in crowded places suggests that we should keep at least six feet apart from anybody else. But let's see what fashion has in store for us. Now the outrageous huge puffy dresses and suits and just really weird out there fashion doesn't seem that weird at all. It's a great self-distancing practice. And this nice, um, what, what's the name of that thing? I have no idea. But it's pretty good a way of social distancing too. And looking scary is another choice of, because nobody will like get to you in like a hundred meters. And the DIY version. Okay, now after all of this, there's actually some good news. Dior has announced that they opened a studio in France uh, on a volunteer basis where they are sewing face masks for all of the doctors. Giorgio Armani announced that they're going to use all their production plans to manufacture a single use overalls, medical overalls. They're not the only ones. Major brands like Zara, Christian Ceremono, uh, H&M, and a few more are using their factories to make uh, face masks for all of the medical staff. Uh, many more smaller companies are doing buy one and will donate one to the medical facilities. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, please share, please hit that like button and maybe write a comment down below. Let's keep those positive thoughts moving and let's hope that we're not going to have these amazing tan lines by the end of the summer. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and stay classy. Bye.